Hello, my name is Sean, and I'll be doing a tutorial for the number cipher. So, for the number cipher, it will consist of three different LEDs, some rotating numbered cubes, and numbers that you can cycle through in an enter button. And then there's also a countdown timer that you see going from green to red. And once it reaches all the way red, some cubes will rotate, the LEDs will light different colors sometimes. So, what are we supposed to do? Well, first we're supposed to take the two colors and put them to the Venn diagram. The solid color is red, the dotted color is blue, and this dash, this, this dash line is uh, green. So dotted line is blue, solid line is red, and dash line is green. And then you take whatever letter that you got from this Venn diagram and do a formula, which involves either taking the digital root of the number that you're going to add slash multiply or subtract, or you're going to take modulo 10, which I'll explain both of these. So to figure out digital root, say I got a number like 598. So digital root of 598 is gonna equal to five plus nine plus eight. So we take digital root of that, so let's see, that's 17, that's 22. After that, if we still then come up with a single digit number, we're gonna take digital root of that as well. So two plus two is gonna equal four. Understand now? All right. So that's digital root. Module 10 of 598 is going to take the least significant digit, which is going to equal eight. So you take the rightmost number and that's how you get module 10. So by understanding these rules, we can probably actually solve this module and we'll do this very fast. Uh, what's the next countdown timer? There we goes. So, Let's see where our next cars are. So we got all three, which is going to give us D. So D is the digital root of the product of the digits. So first we're going to multiply everything. So 8 times 7 times 5. It's going to give us 280. Then we got to take the digital root of that. So 2 plus 8 plus 0 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. So our answer is 1. And we press enter, and that's a solved module. Okay, we'll do it again. Alright, so we just got red, which is A, which is the digit root of the sum of X in the third digit, where X is the product of the first two digits. So 6 times 6 is 36, and you add 8. Uh, 36, uh, 44, and is the digital root, so it's 8. Because 4 plus 4 is 8. Moving on. Next, we have blue and green, which is going to be these two, which is an F. F is the two-digit number created by the first digit, so we have 84 multiplied by the third, which is 1, so 84. Module 10, take the least significant digit of 84, which is a 4, and we enter that. That's another solved module. So here's how expert diffuser would work. So first they would give out the colors when it's resetted. I have red 754. So red is A, which is the digital root of the sum of X in the third, where X is the product of the first two. So 35 plus 4 is 9. Uh, 39... That's going to be 12, then 3. So 3 is our answer. I know that's really fast, but for a module like this, you got to be fast. So just to break it down, you take the product of the first two digits. So 7 times 5 is equal to 35. Then we got to add 4 because in the sum of x in the third digit, so this is going to equal 39. Then we got to take the digital root because it's the digital root of the sum. So 3 plus 9 is going to equal 12. Then we got to take the digital root of that, which is 1 plus 2 is equal 3. 
Okay, so diffuser expert again. We'll do this one more time. Mm, I got red blue. So red blue is this uh, C. C is the first digit multiplied by the two digit number created. So 92 times one is 92. 92 module 10, take the least significant digit, the rightmost is a two. So our answer is a two. So once you get enough of these done, so how about I just cover all the rules? I'll cover all eight rules of this with using this number of 192. Well, actually, let's come with a number of our own. Let's take 492. I think that'll be more decent. So the first rule is the digit root of the sum of x in the third digit, where x is the product of the first two digits. So the product is multiplying. So we got to do 1 times 9. So, I mean, 4 times 9 is going to be 36. Then we gotta take the sum of the third digit. So this is equal x. So the sum of our third digit is gonna be equal to 38. Then we gotta take the digital root of that. So three plus eight is going to equal 11. Then we take the digital root. One plus one is equal two. So our answer will be two. Second rule. The first digit plus the two digit number created by the second two. So we take our number created by the second two, which is 92, and add it by the first digit, which is four. We create 96, and then we got a module 10 it, which is basically taking the rightmost digit, which is a six. So our answer in this case would be six. Next, we have the first digit multiplied by the two digit number created by the second two digits. So we have 92, and then you have to multiply it by 4. So let's see. If you take 92, multiply by 4. It's going to be 368. And then we got module 10 it, which is going to be the rightmost digit is an 8. And that's our answer. Next, we have the digit root of the product of the digits. So we take four, uh, four times two, well, two times nine. It doesn't matter whichever order. So four times nine times two, it's going to equal 72. And the digit root of that, so seven plus, uh, seven plus two is equal to nine. And that's our answer, is 9. Next is the digital root of the sum of x in the first. So x is the product of the second two digits. So 9 times, so first 9 times 2 is going to equal 18. Then we take the sum of that in the first digit, which is going to be 4. It's going to equal to 22. And the digital root of that, 2 plus 2, is going to equal 4. So then the two-digit two number created by the first two, so that's going to be 49, multiplied by the third digit, which is 2. So times by 2 is going to equal, let's see if I can do this, my, so 98, I'm going to say that, that's going to be 98, and then module 10, so take the rightmost of this digit, and that's going to be an 8, so our answer is 8. Next is the two-digit number created by the first two digits, so we have 49 again multiplied by the third digit. Oh, my bad. I read the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, let me explain E again. So the digital root of the sum of X in the first digit, where X is the product of the second two digits. So we got to do, you, so we got to do, oh no, we've already explained E. What am I thinking about? That was 22, and this was basically on the, 
created by the first two digits multiplied by the third. So it's 49, that's 98, and 98 module 10 is 8. We already covered that, so we're on this one. The two-digit number created by the first two digits, so that's going to be 49 again, minus the third digit, so minus 2, is going to equal 47. Module 10, so take the rightmost digit, that's going to be a 7. And finally, we have this one, the digit root of the full display number. So we take 4 plus 9 plus 2. And this is going to equal, let's see, uh, 13, 13, 15, so 15. Then we got to take 1 plus 5, digit root of that, it's going to equal 6. So that's all the rules explained. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the screen. And I'm going to tell you the colors and the numbers and do some calculations for me. So I have blue 435. I got zero. Ah, it switched before. Uh, oh, it's plus. Well, I'll reach out. Okay. okay, I got blue 229. And the answer I got for that is 1. I'm going to enter 1. That's correct. Next one. Uh, it started changing already. So red, blue, 464. And the answer I got is six. And that's another correct answer. And one last one for the road. Red, blue, 268. And the last answer I got is a 6. Which I'm going to show you in 3, 2, 1. There we go. 6, entering it. Hope all of you enjoy this. And just to show what happens on a strike, what happens... I can't enter anything else. See that? I'll show you one more time. So I've already entered my answer. I can't enter any other answers. It won't allow me until after this countdown is done. <gasps> oh, it's red and 551. 25. 26, it would have been 8, if my math is right here. No, yes, 8. So, hope all of you enjoyed this tutorial, and until then, keep talking, and don't explode.